Hi guys, it's HBYT and welcome to the cinema room. <sighs> Come on! <laughs> Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I've almost finished my brand new YouTube tech studio. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see that tour video when it drops. But as part of the brand new studio setup, I of course needed a TV and sound system setup for not only tutorial videos, but also for hardcore movies and gaming stuff. What? for lounge time movies and gaming. Now, I already had this 65 inch OLED TV from when I last partnered with LG, but they also wanted to sponsor this video to showcase two, that's four, two of their brand new soundbars, the SN7CY and the humongous SN11RG. I'll touch on the importance of a proper sound setup in a second and why TV speakers just don't quite cut it anymore. But firstly, <laughs> But firstly, let's get these unboxed and see what we're dealing with and look at all the features. So the unboxing experience is pretty much identical on both. Inside you get the soundbar, remotes, cables and manuals, etc. The main difference between the two here is the additional subwoofer and the surround sound speakers with the SN11RG, which can connect wirelessly to the soundbar. So if you want to go completely all out, the SN11RG will definitely be the best option for you. The two soundbars also have a similar appearance a brushed metal look with mesh on the front and sides, containing LED displays and up-firing speakers also. On the back, we have optical in on both. We have two HDMI ins on the SN11RG. We've got one HDMI out on both, but we do have the inclusion of eARC on the SN11RG. Now, eARC stands for Enhanced Audio Return Channel and improves bandwidth for higher quality audio streams. USB ports are also present on both as are these passive radiators on the back to help improve bass. So why use a soundbar? The sound quality from the LG OLED 65C9 is surely already pretty good. So why would you use a soundbar? What are the benefits? Well, in order to answer that, we need to take a look at the progression of speakers within the latest TVs. Tech is constantly moving forwards and getting better with each passing year. And that would be the case for the natural progression of built-in speakers within the latest TVs, right? Well, actually, not quite. In fact, because TVs are getting thinner and thinner, the space to include decent high quality speakers is getting worse. So what options do we have? Well, there are two real main options. You can either go through the lengthy install process and sometimes complicated si <laughs> the lengthy and sometimes complicated installations of home theatre setups with lots of messy wires and just all round faff. Or you can go down the soundbar route. These generally have enough space inside to house all of the required tech, but contained, and importantly, it's sleek enough not to take over the room and it's more of a plug and play. So great, you've got your TV, you've bought your bracket, you've hung it on your wall, looks brilliant. Now all that's left to do is to go on somewhere like Amazon and just search soundbar, buy it, connect it up, right? Again, not quite. Because although many of them look pretty much identical, some come with special features which you might not have even known you needed until you do. Did that make any sense to you? I knew what I meant in my head. Let's move on. <laughs> so, so bad. Now we are going to touch on all of the juicy features in a second, but the first thing I want to stress is the importance, don't know whether you can see it, of this little logo right here. Meridian. The importance of including Meridian technology within both of these soundbars should not be downplayed. Because if you don't know already, Meridian are one of the OGs in the audio game, creating industry leading sound systems, some of them upwards of £40,000. Crazy technology. And I saw firsthand the craftsmanship that goes into their technology when I visited their factory a year or so ago. So that little logo right there straight away for me is like a stamp of approval for audio quality. So what are the core features that LG bring to the table? <laughs> Sorry, I can't do it like this. What are the core features that LG bring to the table with these two soundbars? Well, the first thing is something called AI Sound Pro, which basically means through using machine learning, the soundbar is able to understand the type of content you're listening to and adjust the acoustics of the sound accordingly. The best example of this probably is dialogue and voices, where it can adjust the amount of bass to make voices clearer. 
That way you don't have the really annoying problem of constantly raising and lowering the volume when sound effects and music etc come in because you can't quite hear what they're saying. The second key feature is the inclusion of Dolby Atmos and DTS-X which in layman's terms means it kind of gives you a 3D all round sound so you don't just have these stereo left and right channels and it makes everything just seem that more immersive. The third feature is the already mentioned collaboration with Meridian, which provides lots of impressive goodies. But one key feature is something called image elevation, where the sound literally sounds, clues in the title, like it's being elevated and coming straight out of the screen. So again, it's a much more realistic, authentic sound. And also with any product that includes Meridian technology that I've used, I've noticed absolutely zero distortion, even at the top high volumes. Top high volumes, does that even make sense? at the top volumes. And to top it all off, you also have high-res audio, 4K pass-through, Bluetooth, and Google Chromecast connectivity. So as an example, you can cast music directly from your smartphone straight to your soundbar using the compatible apps. You also get Google Voice Assistant on the SN11RG, which is another handy tool. So if you're looking for okay, fairly decent sound, then your TV is probably going to be fine. But if you want to elevate your setup to a home cinema standard, then that's where these two bad boys come in. Obviously, with the additional subwoofer and stereo speakers that you can place around the room on the SN11RG, it will enhance the experience to Steven Spielberg levels. But even just with the SN7CY, the improvements in sound, specifically dialogue, it's pretty drastic. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of these two soundbars. Do you need a new soundbar and are these potentially on your shopping list? Or do you not think soundbars are necessary and is there something else that you would prefer to use? Like and share if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Subscribe and hit that notification bell if you love everything tech, breaking tech news, unboxings, reviews. I'll love you and leave you. I'll see you in the next one. Say it's beautiful. Peace out.